So what I'm going to be showing you today is how to integrate Git into your Eclipse environment. You're going to find that you can do basically the same thing if you're using something other than Eclipse, like IntelliJ or NetBeans. <clears throat> but Eclipse tends to be the most commonly used uh, development environment. So I'm going to be using Bitbucket, but again, the, the same thing applies if you're using GitHub or some other Git-based repository. Uh, Git is a very powerful repository. It's used in these online forums like GitHub and Bitbucket, but it's also used at the enterprise level. And the reason why I tend to use Bitbucket is because at work we use Atlassian's for pay product, which used to be called Stash, but now they're, they've rebranded it as Bitbucket also at the enterprise level. They function, Bitbucket and GitHub function very similarly. And the process for setting them up and integrating them into your development environment is very much the same. So I'm going to kind of start from scratch here uh, with a repository. I've got Bitbucket up. I am logged in. I'm going to create a new repository. I'm going to call it my repository. You can say whether the access is private or not. Um, I'm not going to make it private. So basically all I've done is created a, a totally empty repository. So right up here in the corner you'll see there is a URL or a, yeah, a URL to my repository. GitHub provides the same thing. And so you're going to want to use that uh, as you uh, as a, a part of the process here. So um, the first thing that you need to do within the IDE I'm going to move this out of the way here, is to install a Git if you don't have it installed. It doesn't, you know, there's some versions that come with, um, with Eclipse. One way that you can tell whether you have it installed or not is if you look under, um, if you look under window and perspective and you open the perspectives up like this, you should see that you have a Git perspective within there. If you do have a Git perspective, then you have it installed. If you don't have it installed, uh, it's fairly easy to install and I can give you that information if you need it. So I'm assuming that you have Git installed. You can look at the Git perspective and it will show you your various repositories. And these the, are the way that Git works is, is that it stores an entire repository or a clone of the repository on your local machine. And then, so it takes a little bit longer sometimes to get the initial repository downloaded, but then after that, it's very fast in making commits and you know pull requests and push requests and the like. So we are going to be creating it. We need to create the repository also on our local machine, but we're not going to use this. Instead, I'm going to um, create a test project here. We'll call it uh, I've got like a hundred test projects. Test project. Whatever you want to call your project. Okay. And we're going to, uh, sorry, I have to move a few things around here. Okay. Now, I'm going to attach this project to my repository. And I'm going to do that by right clicking on the project and coming down to 
<laughs> this is hard to see here. Um, team and share project. Team share project is where I get I get this. Now, I can pick from a repository I already have, meaning this is a local repository, or I can create a new repository, and I'm going to create a new one. Now, uh, it's going to take me to kind of the base area where repositories are, but I'm going to browse. Get this over here. This is where my repositories are. I'm going to create a new folder. Oops, these don't. And I'm going to call it the same thing as I'm calling my repository in um, Bitbucket. My repository. Okay, now I'll click open. Finish. So what it's telling me here is it's creating a new repository. Uh, here's the tree. And so you've got the project associated with the repository. So just click finish here. And it thinks a minute. And you'll notice that it's got a little greater than sign. And it's that means that it's associated with this. And it says no head. Basically, it's not really it's not really related to a place in the repository. So now thinking about Git and about the way code repositories work, they're not just a simple filing system because we require more of them than that. We, um, we want to make sure that, first of all, we can have multiple people working in the same environment or with the same code. So we want to make sure that, that those people can work independent of each other but yet commit back to the same branch so that they can uh, work on the same things at the same time. So first of all, within your uh, Bitbucket or GitHub, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a branch. So I'm not sure why this just doesn't blow up. I'm going to create a branch on my repository. I'm going to call it my working branch create. Okay. So it's creating a branch. Now it should be creating this from the head. So let me cancel here. If you did the same thing as me, I'm going to um, start. Let's go back here. I'm going to take create a let's create a new package. And then within my new package, I'm going to create a class file. My class. Yes, we're being really creative here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, go down to team, and commit this. And yet here are the files that are, are changed. I'm actually going to just commit all of these. And I'm going to put in a note here, initial commit. And I'm going to commit and push. And then you'll see that it's, I need to go in here and change. If you've done this before, you need to change the repo so that it points to the right one. My new repo is called my repository. Okay. And I'm going to be merging this in when I commit it. Let's go back. Did I type it wrong? I typed it wrong. Okay, these things happen. All right. So it's what I've done there is I created a master branch. We could have actually done that within um, directly on the web, but it's easier to do it this way. Okay. So now when I go to create a branch, I'm creating it from master my 
working branch. Okay. So this my working branch is where I'm going to do all of my development. At some point in time, I can commit that back to master. Master is like the trunk of the tree, and I've just created a, a branch from it. Okay. Now the only other thing I need to do here is to now associate my project with that branch. So I'm going to go down to Team, and under Remote, I'm going to switch to New Branch. And where did the little sucker go? OK, here we go. I'm going to put in the name of my branch, my working branch. And I'm going to say, every time that I do a push or a pull, I want to merge. OK. So now I've got everything associated with this. So let's, um, let's add a little something. Let's just add the typical public static void main. Nope, not that. All right, something really simple. I'm going to save this. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to team and I'm going to commit. And I'm going to put in here as a commit message added public static void main commit and push. Okay, so it's got the right branch, it's got the right repository. Next and finish. All right. So, what does this look like then if I go back to the website? So, if I um, look under branches here, it's now showing that I have my master branch and my working branch, and I can click on my working branch and I can see that hey, I have a commit on my working branch. I could even click on this commit and I could see the actual diff of it. You notice that in the green here it's showing what changed, the little plus signs, so I can see that it's changed. Okay. So now every time that I make changes to my code over here in Eclipse and commit them, they're going to show up in my repository over here. So I hope that this helps as you're starting to use Eclipse and to use this um, feature or connecting it up with uh, GitHub.